Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to go over a quick tip on how to select things in KiCad, which sounds really boring, but it actually has changed in KiCad 5.0. So let's take a quick look here. One thing that, uh, you know, and I'm going to go back. I actually, <laughs> I'm actually not sure if this is a KiCad 5.0 thing. I think it is, but uh, it may have been available, and I just never knew about it. So a friend showed me this. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Uh, <laughs> uh, when you select things in KiCad now, um, so we're in the layout program. This is just a stupid drawing that I did here. Uh, what we can do is kind of an inclusive versus exclusive selection, and this is really useful as you're like in the middle of a you know a board that's you know really uh, r really busy like that. Well, not this isn't that busy, but it, you know it is busy. Um, and so some of the stuff has changed in that uh, when you click from left to right, right, click and drag, it's only the things that. Uh, are in, entirely enclosed. So right now, as I release this, it should only, <laughs> you know, should only select the the uh, the sad faces left eye. Let's see. So it's only the left eye. If you go from the right up to the left, sorry, let me do that same same amount. So now I'm just kind of crossing over some of these things. Now it should do everything, and it does select the entire thing. So that can be really useful because sometimes you only want to do like so. If I only wanted to select the things that I have entirely. Uh, so say I wanted to select this this potentiometer and the components in it, but I don't want to get any of this stuff on the edge of it, right? So I just select, oh, that's going to get a little bit more, hold on. Uh, how about here? Yeah. So it's only going to select uh, the things that are con entirely enclosed here. It should just be the potentiometer in, in its green things. So there we go. It got all that stuff. Now what I can do is right click, and there should be a select dialog here. This is actually how it used to look now, right? And so. This used to be every time you, you selected something in KiCad 4, it would do this. So now what I can do is I could say, don't include tracks, don't include vias, don't include text items or anything else, don't include zones, uh, board outline layer. All I want to do is just move the footprints. Hit OK. Now, if I hit Move, it only moves the footprints and nothing else. So these two things together basically are a really powerful method for selecting and you know either moving, moving, removing, uh, <laughs> uh, highlighting, Whatever you need to do and whatever you need to actually access within your board, you can do that now. So say I wanted to access only the stuff, or sorry, all of the, uh, all of the traces in here, but I don't know which ones are which. I'm going right, to right click, go, sorry, click and drag from right to left. I'm going to click and select, go to select, and I'm going to say filter selection, and now I'm going to say only tracks. And now what I can do is just go and move all of these tracks out of here, hit move. And now I've just I've just removed all of the layout as I you know obviously I'd have to go and redo all the layout I didn't move any of the vias for some reason but the idea being that you can go and start to selectively move things around whereas you couldn't have done that before uh, the, as far as I know the you know selecting selecting everything versus selecting nothing uh, that can be a really useful thing now and that's also useful for you know so sometimes like if I'm Working with a really thin line, like the outline of this board, right? If I if I just go and select here, I would have to select. Say I wanted to, to move the bottom, the bottom of this uh, this board. I want to extend it down, but I want to select the entire thing. So now I go and select it. Now everything's selected here, right? And well, I guess that's not true. I got I got I got other stuff in there. I got tracks, whatever. I have to select it. Now I could just I could simply mouse over it. I could click for, from left to right, from right to left. And select the entire line by just selecting a little portion of it. So it really allows fine control, and then I can go and just click and drag this down if I wanted to, and uh, and move stuff around as I needed. So this is a nice usability feature, in my opinion. It's something that's definitely hidden. I don't know how I would have found it if my friend hadn't told me about it. Uh, it's something where it's it feels like it's kind of buried, but it is a really really useful thing. And that plus the select dialog. I mean, they they basically remove the select dialog from how it used to be. That that select dialog that we were showing there. That used to be every time you selected anything, it would say, well, what do you want to select? Tracks or vias or footprints or whatever. And so I think that's a really that's a nice usability thing. And uh, hopefully you like it as well. If you want to talk more about usability in KiCad, you can always do so over on the KiCad forum. That's forum.kicad.info. We'll have more videos about how to speed up your designs. And uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can always go to contextualelectronics.com and sign up for some classes over there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.